following the video I made of recent uh, where we are, we are looking at the new MT5 futures, advanced ones that enable you to actually uh, know what you are risking and how much you are going to profit from the market. Uh, today I also want to turn or change my MT4 accounts on XMS to MT5. So this is what I'm going to do and therefore watch me as I do it, right? So click here on XNS application. Right, then it is going to open. There we go, I have opened. So you are going to see this interface. So what you do, you just come here to create MT5 account. Click there. Right, you can see the minimum deposit uh, spread. 0.2 commission no commission then you click on continue down here so once you reach here you choose uh, the currency right in the leverage i told you this is the capital mm -hmm. like the leverage if you are trading with 50 dollars and uh, you use one to two thousand they are going to multiply 50 dollars times this one huh? If it was not leverage, a few would access the forex markets. It would mean only those ones with millions of money would be able to trade in the foreign exchange market. So because of this leverage are provided by brokers, even we retail traders with no or little money are able to trade the market. So what I do, this is a high risk uh, leverage. You can see I chose this one, which is the highest. So today, uh, because I'm going to be using a small account, I'm going to just go with, um, yeah, even this one is high risk, but let me just go with the one to two or hundred. So I'll choose this one. And uh, the currency, I can choose, uh, even my current actually, uh, yeah, like UGX, uh, I can find it here uh, in X. And so you can see I'm going to use UG, uh, uh, current shillings. So let me choose this one, which is my currency. Then I'll choose my account nickname. Then thereafter, I'm going to click on continue. But before cause, I don't, uh, I don't want you to see my nickname that I'm going to use. Let me just hide it. And I will be back when I'm done. So after clicking continue, you are going to be required to enter the password. Then after that, you can also click on OK. So click on OK. So person should contain at least one special character. So let me also include the special character. The special character can be like a uh, hash. Can be like a hash. This is a special character. It can be like at. There can be like this, a slash. You know, and that's what they're meaning. So let me just include it and I come back. Okay, so let me click on OK. So you can see, yeah, I have created a, a UGX uh, account. So the next thing is uh, to make a deposit and I'll click here. Then I'll use our payments uh, methods. So now we use this, my, this is my mobile money number. This is what I'm going to use. Okay. There are very many uh, deposit methods you can see. They are very many stick pays, create perfect money in Ethereum, but money by Nance Pay, bank card, ETC. But let me just go use this one. Eh? Let me use that one. So, thereafter, I'm going to click here, like uh, probably let me enter this one. Okay, which is. Uh, Ninety thousand. Okay. Now click on continue. After checking everything. So they are going to ask me to confirm a deposit via mobile money. This is the number. They are saying pay this one and. Uh, this is the invoice, this is the amount, it is it, then I scroll down and after that you have confirmed if you think everything is okay, then click here.
So you can see payment request has been sent to MTN and uh, you can see the pop-up that are requesting me to enter my PIN. So you can see I've entered my PIN and I have already made a payment. I have approved the debit of this one amount and at a few of this one. You see by your Uganda Limited. So after that you click here and go to Merchant. Okay, so you can see my account I have just created the uh, prior it was on zero now it is having 90,000 UGX right so you can see uh, now what you need to do now that you have opened this account I need to connect it to MT5 platform so now uh, let me just pick or copy some of the details right so what you do you click here on details let me go to settings which is here so the login credentials is what you need don't need these ones no you need these credentials so I'll copy the login then the server is uh, this one xn 75 real 10 and then the password i already know so let me go to mt5 Okay, now that you have this, uh, the login and uh, server and uh, the password, let me go to MT5, XNS MT5 real 10. So I'll come back here to, sorry, let me go here. I'll click to this one, MT5 to open. Thereafter, I'll click on this plus icon click there then enter uh, xns so let me go with this one you can see there are very many there is xns sc limited like this one above so mine was like this let me go with this one and i see so let me enter the login paste Password, I will enter mine. Then I'll go with the XNS MT5 return to you, which is this one. Okay, then I'll click on uh, login. Then you wait. Good, you can see it is now here. Right, so what do you do? Go and trade. Well, on charts, you can see the charts. You can go to trade. You can see the amount is already there. Everything is superb. And uh, the, the other tools I was telling you, if you haven't watched my video, are these ones right here. So they will be able, rather they will be showing me uh, the amount I'm risking and how much I'm going to gain per trade. And as well add uh, more assets so like for these ones I'm going to delete them so I can customize the chart. And I can go here, click on it and uh, you know remove uh, the ones I don't want and I add the ones I want for example let me add euro USD because this is what I trade see here click on it then you also tap here on add symbol right so you can go here tap on it click on chart you can see you know my network is a bit poor but uh, if your internet connection is okay the chart should have already displayed eh? but uh, let's wait and see since it has taken time let's add another one i got quotes again so go to the plus icon all right so let me just uh, type here another one which is uh, gbp usd gbp usd which is this one 
so tap there so after tapping there you also click on add symbol and uh, it will be added once you scroll down you're going to see it here all right uh, but because of my poor network that's why uh, we when we go to chat you are not going to see the chat but uh, if there is network it's gonna load as you can see this one which is scroll uh roading uh, it's because of my network which is poor processing chat data right but uh, if it comes back if the network is okay to be able to display the chat okay so let me show you how you can just remove some of the unwanted uh, trading instruments that you don't want or you can go to quotes again click there and uh, just click on this pen icon okay so for example i want to delete some of these ones you can see most of them are actually crypto uh, assets you can go here on that delete icon then uh, you, you will see this is in these boxes uh, you can uh, just check each and everything that you don't want for example let me just begin from here as i'm checking all right i can check all of these ones huh? so let me just leave btc usd and euro usd and gbp usd the rest i can click here on delete okay so they are gone and see now i'm remaining with the only three assets uh, i can add another one of my choice uh, for example i can add a uh, audi audi oh, sorry um, okay, audi usd so tap here again again tap here on uh, add symbol right you can see it is already added eh? mm -hmm. so let me add uh, the last one i can add uh, usd jpy usd jpy mm -hmm. then you click here okay and you click on add simple it is added you can also add usd card usd canadian door so tap here then on symbol add symbol it is added so those are enough All right so uh, here there should be figures which are showing the lows and the highs which is the spread eh? right the difference between the bid and dusk price is what you call the spreads all right and these numbers should be changing so if there is nothing which is here <coughs> and nothing which is changing that means uh, there is poor network and we have to wait all right so that's it guys i hope you have uh, learned something from this video subscribe for more content like this until next time we meet.